Hello, in this video, we're going to go through how to do a Jinja template within Ansible so we can configure a Cisco configuration file for multiple devices. So, hi, hello, I'm Roger Perkin and I'm a network automation architect based in the UK. And this is part of my Ansible for Network Engineers course. Um, all the previous lessons up to this point are listed in the description and all the code I'm using for this will be listed in my GitHub repo, which is also in the description. So let's get on with this. So what we're gonna do is create a Jinja template. Now Jinja is a, a templating language where you can replace parts of a configuration file with a variable, and then the Jinja template will loop through those items and populate a configuration file. It'll all become clear when I do this. So to start off with, we are going to need to create our template file. So I'm in my Ansible for Network Engineers folder. I'm going to do a new file. I'm going to call this, uh, let's call it NXOS template. And then you have to put .j2. So that makes this a ginger file. And then we can start writing the templating language. Now, it's not incredibly difficult. It's just replacing bits of your configuration where you want things to change. So, for example, we'll do a very simple example here. Host name. And then we put two curly braces and I put host name. So this is my template. Very simple. And when we run the, the playbook, to go through this, it will say, I'm going to write a configuration file with host name, and then I'm going to replace the value in here with the values that I've configured in my variables files. So let's write the playbook and then we'll go into the variables. So the next file I create is the actual playbook. So we're going to call this one config template. YAML. So this is a YAML file. This is an Ansible playbook. And I'm going to copy this in and I'll walk through exactly what's happening here. So this is the template. Touch bigger so you can read that. Very simple. Name config template. The hosts I'm going to target are the Nexus devices. So in my host file here, I have two Nexus devices configured. This is really mainly just to pull out these host names. So that's what we're using that for. And then we're gonna use the template module. So this is an Ansible module called template. And the template module just needs two pieces of information. It needs the source, which is our template. So this is gonna be nxos hyphen template.j2. So that's what the source of the template module wants. And the destination is where we're going to put the configured configurations. And they're going to go into a folder called configs. Then we're going to use the Ansible value here, inventory host name. So that's going to pick the name of each device in the host file. And then it's going to append config.txt on the end. And they're going to end up in this configs folder here. Uh, delete these, some tests I was doing. So we've got nothing in the configs file here. And the playbook is going to go and say, what's in the template, render the bits, make a configuration file and save it in the folder. So that's two parts. And the final part we need to do is to populate the variables here for each device. Now, in our simple example here, we're just doing host name and then host name. So this is going to be a device specific value. So if we go into our host vars, and I've already got a, let's delete that. So this is my host vars. I've got the host name variable here is 9kv1 and in the 
9kv2 the host name is defined as nexus 9kv2 so these are two different values so let's go back to the config template we're going to run this and it should build me two configuration files one that says host name and 9kv1 the other one says host name and 9kv2 uh, ansible playbook and we're going to call config template dot yaml okay so two yellow entries here which means two things have changed and we go into the configs folder and i've got two files that have been created and this one the configuration says hostname n9kv1 and this one says hostname 9kv2 and then what we would do is then have another playbook underneath that or another task which would then push these configurations to these devices now that's a very simple example so what if we've got things that have more information in them so for example we're going to configure some NTP servers. Now these are going to be the same across every device in our whole network. So we go into the group variables folder and the all, and I'm going to put in here some NTP servers. So I define them like this, NTP underscore servers, and then put another one in. And these are the IP values of our NTP servers globally, which must go across every single device. So now we're gonna we cannot use the very basic template here, just saying host name, host name, because I have now more than one value to use. So we use a for loop. And I'm gonna pop that one in. So the for loop looks like this. And what happens here? is this says for the value NTP server, so this is more of a placeholder in NTP servers. So it's going to loop around and around and around for each value that I've got configured here, and it's going to pick out each one of these. And then it's going to write a line that says NTP server and then value one, and then it will go to value two, and it will go to value three. So if we run this again, yellow has changed, go into the configs file. We've now got, as we've decided, NTP servers, and these are all configured here. So this might look quite simple, but the, the value of this is if I had a thousand devices configured in here and I wanted to change the NTP server on a thousand devices, instead of logging in to a thousand switches and typing NTP server 1111, all I would have to do is go into the group variables all and say I want to change the IP of this. And we'd build the configuration and then this changes here and then this could get pushed to the device one change and that will be executed across every single device exactly right now there are some other things we can do so let's try one more so in the nexus world we've got features to turn on different parts of the nexus sort of subsystem so that would be a value which is not all, so it's not everything, but it's relevant for the Nexus platform. So I want to enable these features on all of my Nexus switches. So I've now created this value, enabled features, and then I can put all of these in. And for the same sort of procedure, we're going to use another for loop. So let's go into the template we've got the ntp server and now we're going to put this in i've added a little bit of um extra in here as well 
So that one now it says for uh, right. Let me just change that. Okay, so I've got one more bit to add. So what I've done here is for feature in enabled features and host enabled features, and this part here default with the brackets and the square brackets will ignore anything that isn't configured. So I'll explain that. So I'm going to do for feature in enabled features. We'll ignore this part for the moment. So in Nexus, under enabled features, I have these. And then on top of that, I'm saying plus anything that's configured in host enabled features. So we're going to do one. And I'm going to do it on 9kv1. And I will call this one host enabled features. So these are specific features that I just want enabled on this host. And then Nexus 9kv2, we're doing nothing. So I don't have host enabled features on here. So within this template, it's going to say, look in the enabled features. And it will find these. So what Ansible does is it goes through all this this structure here. You have to name your folder group underscore vars. You have to name it host underscore vars. Ansible will look in all of these places to look for a value called enabled features. And it will find enabled features under the group level in Nexus. And then it's going to find host enabled features under the host setting for this switch. And if I don't have host enabled features it's going to default to a blank and it's going to ignore it and then it creates the configuration using feature and it will pick the value out of here so we'll run that one so now nexus 9kv1 i've got let's space that one out there so what we have here are the these are the features that were enabled in the Nexus section of the template. And then these two were the host specific features that I just did for, for Nexus 1. Now switch 2, I didn't have those host specific features, so they don't appear in the final config. And that is basically how you use a Ginger template to create Cisco configuration files. Now, this can be expanded, so these can get very complicated, but it's just a logical step through all the way. You define your configuration, you find the bit you want, and then if it's just got a single value, you can just do one line. If there's more values in there, you can then do a for loop to loop around, and then we can use if statements that if this exists, Put this in if it doesn't exist don't put that in but this is just a, an introduction on how the ansible and ginger two templating language work together so you can easily and 100 percent accurately make your configuration files now i'm just going to do one more thing uh, before i close this video because in the next one we are going to do more uh, templates so it's going to get a little bit more involved so i'm going to create a folder in here and i'm going to call it templates and then i'm going to move the nexus template into templates that one's there and then in my playbook i will have to say that this now lives in templates slash nexus template because i'm going to end up with more templates under here that we can use and let's just uh, make sure that still works yeah so that's fine so we can start to build these out now i've made a lot of changes and we've got some updated files here so i'm going to push all this to the git repo and you can see that at the end of the lesson hope it's been helpful and i'll, I'll see you in the next video take care bye